കാർ മുകിൽ വന്നെന്തി ചുണ്ടിൽ ചേരുമോട കുഴലിൻ്റെയുള്ളിൽ വിഷു ദിൻ ആശംസകൾ ഹാപ്പി ബിഗിനിങ്സ് India is the land of festivals, traditions, color and food. With 29 states, almost as many languages and cultures, what else can you expect? Yet, these very things makes for a vibrant country steeped in beautiful traditions. Different images of a swirl of colors, smell of flowers and food, the sharp crackle of things frying, soft whispers and loud laughter all come to mind when I think of our festivals. People from Kerala, India celebrate Vishu which is their New Year's Day. It falls on April 14th every year and is also the day when paddy is first sown in the prepared fields. Vishu was started by an ancient sage named Varaha Mehra and has been around since ancient times. Vishu has begun to remind people to always speak, hear, say, think and do good so as to be in tune with nature and our fellow beings. This is said to make our future happy and prosperous. The night before the elders arrange the Vishukarne which is what everyone must see first thing in the morning. It includes God Krishna's idol, a big brass lamp with oil and five wicks, a brass vessel that will hold paddy and rice mix, coconut halves, flowers of the kanikondath or the golden shower tree, gold jewelry, coins, a special brass mirror called Val Karnadi, white silk cloth with golden border, religious text Betel leaf and a rack nut, lemons, yellow cucumber, fruits mainly jackfruit and mangoes, and tulsi, the religious basil leaf. All these things have a special significance. The lamp with the five wicks represents our five senses. The brass mirror represents our inner self, and just like a clean mirror always shows a clear reflection, it reminds us that our thoughts and actions should always be good, reflecting a pure self. Strangely enough, these fruits and vegetables are available only around March, April. The golden shower tree only blooms during Vishu. Its stamen is in the shape of the Sanskrit word Om, which is believed to be the primeval sound. Some of these things are not available in US, and so we make do with what we have on hand. In the morning, we all get up very early. Usually my mother or grandma wakes me up and she keeps her hands over my eyes making sure that I keep it closed. Then she leads me to the prayer room where the Vishu Kadi is arranged. The lamp would have already been lit by the oldest member of the family. We then open our eyes and see God and all the beautiful things spread out. Then we bathe and wear new clothes that are all so colorful. When I was young the bright lights and colors after the darkness would always startle me but now I've come to adore these very things Celebrating Vishu with my grandparents and great grandparents is the greatest blessing of all After prayers we all touch the feet of the elders and get their blessing In addition elders also give money to people younger than them In olden days it used to be a silver or gold coin This is called kainitam All the kids are cautioned to keep the money safe and spend it wisely. Then a sadhya or grand feast is prepared which includes the fruits, vegetables and rice kept in front of God. The feast is served on plantain leaves and includes rice, nine or more curries, raw jackfruit and banana fried chips, sweet fritters and at least two desserts. Both are called payasams, but one is a rice pudding with milk while the other is a jackfruit and jaggery pudding. Yum! After the feast my friends cousins and I play while the elders rest and talk In the evening everyone lights firecrackers and celebrates the day ends at night after dinner and prayers This tradition is being carried on by the newest member of our family my cousin Madhav who turned 1 this year This day is special for me because I get to meet my aunts uncles and cousins and get the elders blessing Of course I also like all the money I get as kainitam This day infuses me with a kind of happiness and clarity that lasts for a very long time. Veenure